then probably only airsoft loadout for me. You might do gauge or somebody like that too. But uh, let's start off with camo because I'm normally that kid in the blue jeans because I just wear these raggedy old blue jeans and they're pretty big on me. So I wear a torn up belt. <laughs> I, I just use really bad stuff that I don't really care if they get dirty or not. Um, I wear this shirt. It doesn't really do much because I have a vest over it, but I wear this, it's a really loose, uh, thin shirt, but it's camouflage, so I guess my arms are kind of camouflage, but that doesn't matter too much to me. I'm more of a target, so I have to, <laughs> like, get to cover more. Now this is my vest. Um, it has a, a ton of pockets. It doesn't really help anything for me because it, it's made for m4s m4a1s so it has these three pouches right here that can fit 246 it fits two in every pouch for m4s but i have an m14 and the magazines are a lot bigger than m4 mags so i have to use this pocket right here and i only have two magazines so it's not a big deal to me i just put one in here and then one's in my gun obviously and uh my pistol My pistol that was working, um, I decided to put a toothpick down it and try shooting it, and it it worked a couple times, but now it just it doesn't shoot anything. It has the toothpick jammed in it, and it has like two or three BBs jammed inside of it, so I don't think I'm going to be fixing this anytime soon. Now for my face protection. Um, I only wear the half mask. And I wear mesh eye goggles so they don't fog up at all on me. Yeah, so I have this so I don't get shot on the bottom part of my face. And then I wear my hat right here. I normally wear it backwards so I can fit the GoPro on my head. But it's normally like this and then it just covers up my forehead and most of my ears. So if I get shot from the sides, I don't get hit in the ears. I'm basically safe anywhere on my head. That's really the only thing I don't want to get hit in. But everywhere else, I have like three scars right here, here, and here from getting shot. And that was the very first airsoft, tags airsoft video I've posted. So, and it's the very first time I get hit too. I just, I go, ah, hit, and yeah, I still got scars from that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to talk about my gun. Um, if you guys watched my airsoft videos, my two videos ago, my airsoft gun broke. And I honestly still don't know what the problem is with it, but I asked somebody at Tags to go get it fixed for me, and he fixed it up really nice. It shoots a lot more uh, quietly now, and if I had a battery in it, I would shoot it, but it's not, it's no battery in it right now. But yeah, it's a lot quieter. The only thing he couldn't fix is the bolt broke when it was broken. Like there was something blocking it up in here for it to go all the way up, but he did manage to fix it to get all the way up, but he just can't make it go all the way back now because this screw right here is too long. But I don't really care about that because the bolt doesn't do anything for my gun. It's just that and then I have a holographic sight too, but I don't use that too much. Um, this does have an orange tip. I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> And I think this shoots around 420 feet per second. It has a range of 200 feet, I think. Um, the battery goes in the back right here. Um, yeah, it's an Aftermath. It's an Aftermath Orphis Special Operations Commando, or Command. And I've, I like the more kind of guns that you don't see every day like m4s and m4a1s and m16s and stuff like that so a lot of people have those kind of guns and a lot of people have m14s too but i honestly have never heard of aftermath until i got this gun and apparently it's a pretty big company but i've never seen anybody having a gun anything near this from Af aftermath so i like this gun a lot it's really really good it's really quiet now. Thank you, Alec, if you ever watch this video. Now, for my shoes, I normally wear these. They're just dirty old Nikes that I don't wear anymore. They're, like, two years old, I think. And, yeah, they're all 
beat up and everything, the back's broken and everything. So I wear these during the summertime when it's not wet so my feet don't get soaking wet. But since winter's coming up, I'm going to start wearing these Timberland boots. I don't know. I I use these for hunting too. And they have a special gel all around them that's waterproof. So when it's snowing, I can still run around and not get my feet wet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My friends Kilo and James, uh, they have an airsoft video too. So I'm going to post the annotation somewhere on the screen for you to watch that because that's a pretty cool video too. They have a lot better gear than me, but I don't think all of that's necessary. <laughs> but yeah, they have a pretty cool airsoft loadout. Uh, they only have one video right now, but if you can go like their video, it's a pretty cool video. They have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, thank you again. See you guys. Bye.